is Chrissy K and I am here with my Ellery and ColourPop swatches. Um, Ellery did her first collaboration with ColourPop in 2014 and because I've been a fan for that long I actually own the 2014s and so I'm going to swatch those for you if you're not familiar with them and I'm also going to swatch the new collection. If you want to see the collection and you want to see why I love this collection keep watching. Okay, so Ellery did her first collection with ColourPop in 2014 and she released the lip liner Ellery and the lipstick Ellery. This was one of ColourPop's first matte lippy, so I'm going to swatch the lippy and the liner just so that you can do the contrast. And just an FYI, when this first came out, Ellery was super popular for her ombre lips. So these are the two shades here. And you can see the liner is super dark. This is literally one of my favorite liners. Um, I actually have a replacement. I've never replaced anything I've ordered for ColourPop other than this. And um, I guess I'm going to give it a little line to show you what the original Ellery is looking like. Keep in mind that Ellery has the perfect lip. She has the perfect Cupid's bow. Me personally, I hate lining my lips because I don't have the Cupid's bow. So this is what Ellery's first collaboration looked like back in 2014, which is still popping and still giving ombreness. It's pretty bomb. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move into her current situation. And if at any time this liner is necessary to her current situation, I'm gonna add it to it. Sometimes for me, certain shades that look good on everybody else, for me, I need a liner. So I'm just gonna stick to that as well when I'm trying these on. So when ColourPop first launched, everything on the website was $5. And so her lip liner is $5. And I kid you not, it's the best $5 I've ever spent. And the lippy stick was $5.50. So now moving forward into her current collection, there are six colors. I got four out of six. So the first one that I'm going to open is Rinman. This is an ultra satin lip. It has a matte finish, but it's not as hard and it doesn't dry down as much as their matte lippies. This is a red. It's beautiful. Like for me, I feel like it would be awesome with that liner. So I'm going to go ahead and just put it on solo first and then I'm put it on with the liner because I love a red line in Ellery. So oh, it's pretty. Red is my favorite thing. And a red like super pops on me. But with this liner, it's gonna take it to the next level. So me personally, I like this color better with the Ellery on it. It gives it some dimension. It's pretty, but it's probably the last color I should have put on because it was red. But I'm just grabbing them as I see them. This is Ren Min and Ellery. Oh, and this color was super special to her because she named it after her father. I want to say her father passed away when she was younger, so this is just something that she did um, to name after him to honor his memory. I think that's super sweet. She honored all the people close to her in her collection as well as things that she says on a regular basis. And I can totally appreciate that. And one of them is actually personal to me. So I completely loved what she did with this collection. Before I keep going, I didn't even show the packaging. Super cute, it's black and red, which is one of my favorite combos. And it has the Ellery X Color Pop. Super cute. So the next color that I'm gonna do is Netta. And she named this after her mother, which was super special to me because my mother's name is Netta, so I thought that was awesome. This is an ultra glossy lip. I love this color, I think it's beautiful, but for me, again, this is something that I would wear with a liner. I'm gonna wear it by itself first. For me, I think that it just blends in with my skin. It don't really do a lot for me by itself and I need to add to it. What I would add to this personally is my NYX Cosmetics liner in the shade Hot Cocoa. I'm gonna add some hot cocoa to this to 
give it some dimension and to make it pop. Typically what I would have done with the liner is like lined my lips um, kind of like ombre style. I feel like doing it after like this is not showing the full effect. So what I'm gonna do is line it the way that I would line it and wear it the way that I would wear it so that you can get what I get from it. I would give all of that for the line and then just come in there and pop some of that in. And then for me, this is the perfect ultra glossy lip. And I did say that that was my mother's name, so of course I had to buy her one. She loved the color. And part of the reason that I wear brown lip liner with everything is because my mom has done that since I was a kid. She was like a MAC chestnut cork girl with like all the shades and it always looked amazing on her. So that was a learned habit and that's what I did to make this go. And I think it looks amazing. And she tried it on today with the liner and I was like, yes, mom, get it. And so for me, I actually like the shade better this way. All right, so I'm moving on to like my fourth slash fifth swatch for my lips. And my lips are already like hurting. I don't know how people do swatch videos where they give like a whole lot. And so this next one, this next one is special and near and dear to my heart and this is for the viewers who are over the age of 21 or older but this is called Hennyways and Ellery is a fan of Cognac Hennessy to be exact and so am I I am a Henny girl and I believe that anything is possible so I thought that this was cute it's a brown Cognac is a brown it's just like I like it so Let's see what it does and let's see if this actually fits. So this is the shade anyways if you just wanted to give like some chocolate lippy glam and the finish of anyways I want to say is the ultra matte lippy. These things dry down matte to the fullest and they're for sure something that if you're gonna wear it you definitely 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 want to have a lippy on i'm sorry not a lippy some chapstick on underneath it because it will dry you out it's drying now but it's hella dry but i believe that it's so beautiful and of the new ones again i got four so i'm gonna go into my last one but I'm gonna say the one that I didn't get was like Yoshi and it was a super like bright pink and she named it after her daughter, but it just kind of wasn't for me. After watching reviews and looking at the shade on other people, then it's called Stilo. And to me, it kind of looked like the matte shades, like it reminded me of like Oh Baby or something like that. And it's a warm peach with silver glitters and it's called Stilo. And it looks so pretty. I actually wish that I would have gotten that one, but I didn't. The last one that I got was the shade Sessie. So to keep it all the way 1000 with you guys, these ultra mattes stay on. They stay super on. Like I had to get some um, makeup removing oil to get it off and my lips are like done. Okay, so the shade Sessie is supposed to be like this Ellery liner in a liquid lipstick format. And so, I'm curious I'm gonna swatch Ellery and I'm gonna swatch Sessie to see what they do so this is the two of them they look fairly close however I'm gonna let Sessie dry and Sessie I guess is just like in her lingo something that she says Red. For some reason, I feel like it's drying faster on my lips than on my hand. I want to be able to show you guys the difference, but it's not fully dry, but it looks the same. Like on my lips, like I could feel it drying. It's almost like the cream that old ladies wear that makes it tighten and it goes like 
lips like that's what it's giving my lips and that's what it's doing for me right now i for sure like this color this is a color i will actually wear actually everything i got i will actually wear and which is why i got it because i'm just not into buying things that i know i'm not gonna wear but i like this color I like the formula and now that it is like dried down like towards the end right here i really feel like it is it is a go it's the liquid let me see pops i see you out here actually ellery is a tad bit darker but it does make for a pretty like vampy sexy lip and all of these are only six dollars this actually reminds me of one of my favorite shades from how to be which i believe their liquid lipsticks are like 22 dollars so if i can get the same effect for six dollars i'm for sure gonna go with it i like the shade I like the lippies. I like what Ellery did. I like that she did lips because she is queen of lips. Again, has like the most perfect, beautifully shaped lips with the cupid's bow. Also, my mother, who got me into lips, period, she has a perfect cupid's bow. Like, Netta, cupid's bow is everything. I for sure knew I was gonna have one of those, but it just never happened. I don't have one. I think these lippies are awesome. I think the price point is awesome. I think that definitely a great investment because it costs you a little bit of nothing and I enjoy them and again I enjoy seeing like youtubers who put their heart and soul into this getting collaborations and like making things happen that shit just warms my heart like it makes me so happy to see that and so with that said you guys I hope you guys like this video I hope you guys like this review and I hope you guys know that I'll never say I like something unless I like it because if I don't I'm for sure gonna let you guys know and yeah if you want to see more videos from me keep watching when we end we're gonna have one over here so we one over there check them out and if you're not subscribed already go ahead and hit that subscribe button thank you guys so much for watching I love you guys Mwah.